Our big focus today, the Indian budget. 68% of capital procurement budget for defence has been earmarked for the domestic industry. Up from 58% of last fiscal year, the defence budget has seen an increase of 10%. And this is to boost the Atma Nirbharta, meaning self-reliance in India. Sita Raman said that she wanted to encourage research and development by private corporations. That includes startups and academia into defence research and equipment development. The private sector's inclusion in R&D is the big highlight. It can also show, it can also now develop military platforms in collaboration with the government-owned Defence Research and Development Organisation or the DRDO. Interestingly, India's vibrant defence private sector has so far mostly produced major systems without government research money. And that's why experts are welcoming the finance minister's decision to include government support. The Special Economic Zones Act will be replaced with a new legislation that will enable the states to become partners in development of enterprise and service hubs. This will cover all large existing and new industrial enclaves to optimally utilize available infrastructure and enhance competitiveness of exports. Atma Nirbharta in Defense. Our government is committed to reducing imports and promoting Atma Nirbharta in equipment for the armed forces. 68% of the capital procurement budget will be earmarked for domestic industry in 22-23, up from 58% in 21-22. Defence R&D will be opened up for industry, startups, and academia, with 25% of defence R&D budget earmarked. Private industry will be encouraged to take up the design and development of military platforms and equipment in collaboration with DRDO and other organisations through SPV model. An independent nodal umbrella body will be set up for meeting wide-ranging testing and certification requirements. Artificial intelligence, geospatial systems and drones, semiconductor and its ecosystem, space economy, genomics and pharmaceuticals, green energy and clean mobility systems have immense potential to assist sustainable development at scale and modernize the country. Supportive policies, light touch regulations, facilitative actions to build domestic capacities and promotion of research and development will guide the government's approach. The defense budget consists primarily of a large capital outlay, revenue expenditure for small acquisitions and spares and defense pensions. In the financial year 22, the ministry's capital outlay was 1.35 trillion rupees. Now this is a jump of almost 19% over financial year 21 with the bulk targeted at new acquisitions and military modernization. The revenue outlay had marginally increased to about 2.12 trillion rupees. However, the defence pensions outlay reduced year on year to about 1.16 trillion rupees. India allocated rupees 200 crore as aid to Afghanistan for the year 2022, despite the Taliban takeover of the country in August last year. Since the US invasion in 2001, India had emerged as Afghanistan's biggest aid supporter in the region. New Delhi has been involved in mega infrastructure projects in the country, including the Afghan parliament and the Friendship Dam in Herat. Since the Taliban takeover, India has also sent humanitarian aid to the war-torn nation. But this year, the 200 crores allocation is less compared to the 350 crores aid given last year. As for other countries in the region, India's budget allocation shows its commitment to its neighbours. Money has been allocated for most South Asian nations, including 200 crores for Sri Lanka, 900 crores for Mauritius, 300 crores for Bangladesh, 750 crores for Nepal and 600 crores for Myanmar. India's key connectivity project to the west, the Chabahar port, saw no change in its budget allocation, however. 
The Ministry of External Affairs also saw an overall increase in its budget from around 14,000 crores to more than 17,000 crores. The total money allocated for the working of embassies and missions also saw an increase in the ongoing financial year. For more on this, our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibyl has sent us this latest report from uh, the Indian capital. Take a look. India's budget has been announced and two key focus areas, defense and when it comes to Ministry of External Affairs, when it comes to defense, it's Atma Nirbhar Bharat or local manufacturing that was the key focus area with 68% of the procurement budget focusing on domestic procurement, also focus on R&D with focus on private sector doing that more. That has been the policy of the Indian government for a long time. That that uh, manufacturing, especially when it comes to defense, should happen here in India. But when it comes to Ministry of External Affairs, uh, uh, the key headline was the India allocating 200 crore rupees to uh, the uh, to to Afghanistan, which of course is uh, uh, being uh, uh, administered by Taliban currently. We know that uh, the Taliban takeover took place uh, in the month of August last year. There hasn't been any formal recognition by New Delhi to the Taliban regime. But uh, even then, India has allocated 200 crore rupees. Last year, the allocation was 350 crore rupees. India, of course, is sending humanitarian support to Afghanistan. Consignments of medicines have been sent to Kabul. Also, we know that uh, India is working uh, with Pakistan for modalities for transfer of wheat to Afghanistan. Um, the other key takeaway when it comes to the international aspect is uh, uh, that uh, countries like Myanmar, Maldives, uh, Mongolia and uh, uh, Bangladesh have seen increase in allocation while Nepal, Bhutan and Seychelles have seen a little decrease in the allocation. Uh, Chabar port that has been India's key connectivity project to its west connecting India with Iran and Central Asia has seen a continuous allocation of uh, 100 crore rupees this year as well. There has been allocation to uh, autonomous bodies like ICCR. Uh, there has been increase of uh, 20 crore rupees. Uh, the budget stands at uh, 320 crore rupees for the next financial year uh, from the current uh, 300 crore rupees for the current financial year. So number of allocations in various headers when it comes to Ministry of External Affairs as well. But the big message of course remains that India continues to support its neighboring uh, countries and beyond as well. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi. Vion World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.